airport where they're practicing a little kite flying to get ready for the upcoming Black Ships Festival. Good evening, everyone. I'm Eric Smith, and aren't these something? I'll tell you. We begin tonight with a story about someone who's been flying high lately, Lonnie Anderson. She's finally made it legal with Burt Reynolds, and that means, well, there's bound to be some changes, <laughs> both on the screen and off. Take a look at the new Lonnie Anderson. Ghosts, spirits, things that fly that shouldn't, things that go bump in the night. Nonsense to some people and very real to others. Flying a kite is a fairly easy and safe sport to learn how to do. Hang gliding, on the other hand, is a very dangerous sport to learn. Make a mistake and it can kill you. The upcoming Black Ships Festival is going to make a big splash here in Newport, that's for sure. And a good way to get it off the ground is a little kite fly. Come this weekend, you just may want to look to the sky for a kiting extravaganza that will probably leave you with your mouth open and off. It's all part of this year's Black Ships Festival, celebrating the historic voyage of Commodore Matthew Perry, a native of Rhode Island, to Japan in 1854. It was then that trade and diplomatic relations were first established. Chairman of this year's festival, Patrick Kirby. In 1984, we decided we would celebrate that relationship and really the relationship between Japan and the United States based on Newport's own Matthew Perry with a black ship festival. The festival's primary goal is to increase American knowledge of Japan. So this year's event will feature not only kite flying, but Japanese arts, traditions, and a host of cultural events. For information on this week-long celebration that kicks off this Friday, you can call the info line at 401-224-1717. And maybe you too can go fly a kite with some of the best. Take a look at this big kite behind me. If this kite brings out the little kid in you, you... That's it for tonight, everybody. But before we leave, take a look at one of the largest kites in the world, over 600 square feet. That's it for tonight. Good night, everybody. Take it away.